Hey guys, welcome back to The Past is Alive. The weekend recap, my favorite video to do here on this channel, or one of them at least. Basically, I show you what I picked up over the weekend, the last couple of days. And this weekend was pretty good. Went out of state twice, went to Ohio two different days back to back. And then Eric and I went out today and picked up some more stuff, more so locally, but a uh, decent amount of stuff. And a nice mixture of toys and baseball cards both, which is a big score in my eyes. So did pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything I picked up now. Check it all out. Rip some packs. Of course, we do the giveaways. Um, hey, Chris Weaver and everyone else. Thank you for joining us tonight on this uh, Sunday evening. Appreciate you being here. Very first thing we're going to do before I start going over everything I picked up is a giveaway that was exclusive to Patreon only. Um, I threw this on there yesterday, and all you had to do was comment on it on the post, and you'd be entered in a chance for the giveaway, which is this uh, numbered 1994 Pinnacle of Natural set uh, that I picked up off of a private seller recently. And pretty cool uh, insert set here. The Naturals, nice felt case, and uh, it is numbered. They did make a lot of these, but still... Really cool nonetheless, cool cards, um, a lot of Hall of Famers in this set. And that is all you had to do was comment on the Patreon post and be a Patreon uh, patron, and you were entered in a chance to win this. So we're going to do this real quick first off the bat, and then we'll get started checking everything out. And we're going to do that via random prize uh, board here. I always enjoy doing these, so I'm going to shuffle it up first. I put them in order by the, um, how you guys commented. And we'll shuffle it up first, uh, shake things up a bit here, and we'll go ahead and we will spin this wheel. And this is for the Pinnacle Natural set. Good luck to all of you. Winner is Robert M. Robert M., congratulations. You won the Pinnacle Natural set. Um, definitely send me a comment on Patreon with your, uh, your shipping info, and I'll get that sent out to you tomorrow. Thank you guys all for playing. Congratulations. I'm going to start doing more exclusive giveaways on Patreon only. So that is just the first one we decided to do. So keep an eye out for those. Plenty more things uh, to come on there. But let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Friday, I went up myself out of state and uh, went to a pretty big flea market. Picked up a couple things, nothing too crazy. Then yesterday, Eric and I went back to Ohio to another flea market we've never been to and found um, some decent cards, things of that nature. And then today we went on again, like I said, locally, found some more stuff, found some packs. Go ahead and check out uh, some of this stuff right off the bat here. This is the very first thing I picked up on Friday, which I didn't have. I thought it was pretty good. An Ichiro rookie card, 2001 tops. And the guy originally wanted 12 bucks with this, which I wasn't going to pay full price for it. I ended up walking away with it for five or six. Can't remember, but uh, pretty good shape for an Ichiro card. And uh, I don't normally collect cards after the year 2000, but I feel like this is one I needed in my PC. So I had to add that to the collection, which I did that on Friday. Pretty uh, stoked about that. And then also on Friday, I never really find real Ghostbusters stuff out in the so-called wild. Um, but I came across a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man figure. It's from Kenner from 1986. Um, the original Ghostbusters toy line, they originally wanted 11 bucks for this. I got it for 5 which was a super good deal. Uh, this guy by himself usually sells for between 20 and 30 loose like this. I have one new on the card, but I didn't have one loose. I figured I'd buy this for my uh, action figure mantelpiece. So I was pretty stoked about that. And there's a bunch of paint markings on here. Usually if you go through with a um, magic eraser, you can get all that stuff off. So it should be uh, pretty good. I'll clean it up. But I was pretty excited about that. That was the second pickup. And then the last pickup, which, I mean, you guys will probably think I'm crazy. You might already think I'm crazy. But this vintage Ames bag, I spot out of the corner of my eye. These people there had all their stuff was a dollar. And they had a bunch of, like, yarn kits and stuff like that. And I was like, I don't want the yarn in the bag. I just want the bag. And everyone looked at me like I was crazy, of course. Like, all right, we'll sell you the bag. So I paid a dollar for that bag. And a vintage Ames bag didn't have one. Now I do have one. Those usually sell on eBay for, like, I don't know, between $10 to $20 for an Ames bag, an empty bag, just for collectors. So that was pretty cool to pick that up for a buck. Can't go wrong. Anytime I see Ames stuff or Hill stuff or any of those old defunct department stores that I used to like, I will uh, buy buy them every single time as long as they're not too expensive. 
Gem and Mantle says, I remember Zares. I want to say Zares was bought out by Ames originally. Here's a $2 Super Chat from 357 MAGA and says, When and what is your next card break, John? Well, thank you very much for that $2 Super Chat, MAGA. I really appreciate that. Um, the next break is going to be Tuesday evening for Turn Back to Clock Tuesday. And I think we are doing, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure we're going to do two boxes of um, late 90s upper deck, 96 and 97 upper deck, um, which should be pretty entertaining. I picked those boxes up like last week from a private seller. I think we're going to do that. And then after that, I think we're going to go and do a 10 box or even 20 box mixer break that will have 36 spots. So you get one pack per box. So um, everyone will have a chance to scoop a lot of good cards. There'll be some higher end uh, boxes in there as well too. I have a pretty decent um, collection forming right now. So we'll throw a lot of those in there. Here's a ten dollar super chat from Anaheim Skip. It says you and your brother find the coolest cards in Ohio, assuming Northeast Ohio, Mahoning, Trumbull County area. Thank you so much for that ten dollar super chat. Really appreciate that, Anaheim Skip. Um, actually, the, the the flea market that I go to the most is Rogers in uh, Ohio. It's I think I want to say it's just over the line. It's about an hour and a half away from me, so it's a nice easy drive. So I spent the last day of my vacation heading out there. Uh, really easy drive. Shoot down a turnpike for an hour, you get off, and you know, half hour in Ohio, you're at the flea market. It's kind of hit or miss. Like when I went this past Friday, there wasn't a whole lot of um, vendors set up. I think because of July 4th is a big day to go. So I think Eric and I are uh, heading there on July 4th, like really early, because it's supposed to be the day to go, and tons and tons of people and vendors there will try to pick up uh, some cars and some toys. I usually have good luck with toys there, but this time I only picked up three things, so it was kind of a waste, but. Still enjoyed it anyways. Had nothing else to do on my last day off, so always enjoy going out and looking for stuff. Hello, Comfort Cards. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for all for joining us, but those are the things I picked up on Friday. Um, and then yesterday, Eric, I went to Ohio again, so I went back two days in a row. A little further away, the other place is about two and a half hours away. But I'm sure you, you guys saw Eric's video last night of the Hall of Fame rookie box and the 25-cent box. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. Out of the 25 cent box, I didn't really find. I found a couple cards in uh, the two, three R box, I want to say, which I don't have in this collection. I'm sending them off already, but um, these were the 25 cent box cards I picked up Hall of Famers and whatnot, and older vintage cards. Very first one being Billy Martin, the iconic 1972 Tops Billy Martin card with a middle finger. <laughs> Always wanted this card and never had it in my PC, so pretty stoked to finally add that Billy Martin to my collection. After all this time, Eric buys that usually uh, every time he sees it. So I don't know if he bought any of those or not. That was the only one I think I saw in there. But uh, pretty cool. And this guy just like, I don't know, he just wanted to get rid of his collection or something like that because he just threw everything in these quarter boxes. Pretty crazy. And then um, going right along to the 25 cent box, Willie, Rand Willie Randolph, 76 tops where he car was in there which I thought was a good one. I'm pretty sure I have this on my PC, but I figured I'd pick it up, send it off to somebody or do a giveaway with it, and another one. So there's a few Willie Randolph 76 top rookie cards. Nice card, book value is five bucks, and uh, the corners on these are not too bad either, and the centering is not too bad. So I figured 25 cents can't go wrong with Willie Randolph rookie card. And then, of course, Jack Clark 77 tops rookie card. A bunch of those in the quarter box, and they're in pretty decent shape for the most part too. So couldn't pass on the Jack Clark rookie, and obviously can't pass on a Jack Morris rookie card, Hall of Famer, 78 tops rookie card for 25 cents. And um, this one's not in too bad a shape either. I had this one already, but I, like I said, I figured I'd pick this up for a giveaway or to send away to somebody in general. Denny Martinez, a.k.a. Dennis Martinez, didn't have this card at all, so I was pretty stoked to add this to my PC. Not a whole lot of value to it, but still a good rookie card to have nonetheless if you collect rookies like I do. And I picked up two of that card. For $0.25 cents a piece, very nice deal. One of them obviously will be sent off to somebody or we'll use for a giveaway. Anaheim Skip says we don't have nice flea markets like that in California. Barely any card shops, too. So what I keep hearing, I guess Eric and I have it pretty lucky out here. I mean, we have to travel a little bit sometimes here and there. But um, it seems like Ohio is a good place to go for flea markets. They have some of the, the biggest ones, apparently, um, around the area. My brother's in here. Hey, Eric. Happy Sunday to you. We had some pretty decent luck today at a local flea market. And here's another one, 72 Tops Charlie Huff rookie card for a quarter. Had this one already too, but I picked it up um, probably for a giveaway, something of that nature. It's in pretty decent shape as well. The corners aren't too bad on that one. Charlie Huff pitched until he was about 125 years old or so it looked like it. And then Mike Mussina, first year card, 91 Leaf Gold rookies. Nice insert card, one of the best cards in the insert set. Mike Mussina is a Hall of Famer, so that was a nice pickup. 
for 25 cents. And then, of course, Craig Biggio. I have a bunch of this card, but I couldn't pass on it for a quarter. Hall of Famer Craig Biggio, 89 Don Russ and 89 Fleer. So two nice ones in good shape as well. And another one I have not seen, I don't think, ever before is his 88 Don Russ Leaf Hybrid Roberto Alomar. Um, nice card. Didn't have this in my personal collection. I have the regular Don Russ one, but not the Leaf. So if I do see those ones in the rookies, I do buy them. Pretty nice card there. Hall of Famer Roberto Alomar. Here's a $5 Super Chat in the Watch Lounge. It says, I used to live above the hills in Fairmont, West Virginia. If you ever see the old tree house above there on the hill, that's our old house. Well, thank you very much for that $5 Super Chat, the Watch Lounge. Please click on them and go give them a sub if you um, would. And um, that is pretty sick that you lived above the hills. Um, love that store. It's one of my favorite stores of all time. I'm not sure if there's still any hills that are still vacant around. Um, if you guys know of any, let me know because I would like to go and do a video on those. I know there's some YouTubers that go around to different hills and aim stores. And they actually get in somehow. I'm not sure if they get permission or they just break in. Uh, they go around and walk around inside of old department stores. I would love to do that so much. Um, but I don't know of any stores that are still standing that have the original uh, store names on them. There, there still are a few around. I see the YouTubers um, recording them. So let me know if you, if you live near an abandoned hills or an Ames or a farm or even. Because I would love to travel and check those out and maybe do a video on them. And of course, Randy Johnson, uh, rookie card here, 89 Fleer, not the Marlboro card. Kind of looking out for that one. Um... It's kind of a rare card. You can see the Marlboro logo in the background of the screen there. Pretty tough to come by um, and decently valuable as well. Need to find that someday. And, of course, Randy Johnson, 89 score, a rookie card, another nice one. So some nice Hall of Famers here for a quarter apiece. And Tim says they turned the old Ames into Kaiser, West Virginia, into Peebles. Yeah, most of them have been converted since then, but there still are a few around um, if you guys remember Children's Palace, which was one of my favorite toy stores, uh, between that and Hills, my two favorite stores of all time when I was a kid, Children's Palace in Lancaster was turned into an Ollie's, but they still have the castle um, architecture and structure to the building, which is somewhere I always wanted to go, Lancaster. Uh, I think Eric and I have been out close to there before. So next time I go out there, I definitely want to check that out. And Gary says, big flea market uh, near Pottstown, PA, having a retro toy show on July 21st. Well, that sounds pretty sweet. I'm going to check that out. Hey, Casey Lewis. Gabe's. Eric and I used to buy baseball cards at Gabe's back in the day, but um, Gabe's kind of went downhill. Same with Kmart. Kmart used to sell baseball cards, too. I remember Eric and I pack searching there, the original pack searching, back when uh, rack packs were a thing, and they, and they sold the little league leaders cards, which we referred to as, as little cards. You could see through the back of there, so we'd pack search looking for Pirates, Bobby Bo, Barry Bonds. Uh, players like that back in the day at Kmart and uh, even Hills as well. They always had the cards at the front aisle of the checkout counter, uh, which is pretty sick. And a Barry, Barry Larkin, 87 Don Ross rookie card. That's a nice one. Hall of Famer Barry Larkin for a quarter and 87 tops. And, of course, Brett Saberhag in 85 tops. Had to pick that one up. I don't think I have this one on my PC. I have the whole set, but I hate breaking up sets and pulling rookies out of there and splitting it up. So had to pick that one up. And Tom Glavin, 88 tops. Uh, had to get that one too, his rookie card. Hall of Famer Tom Glavin, and this card has been on my radar for a little while now. Bill Buckner, rest in peace, 70 tops rookie card. This was, I believe, $2. So not a bad card, not really a bad shape. The corners are pretty sharp. Of course, it's off-center. It's impossible to find older cards from the 70s that are cut perfectly. So I don't really mind that too much, but Bill Buckner, rookie card for my PC. Had to pick that one up. So those were the mostly the quarter box uh, finds that I had. And then, what else do we get? A bunch of packs. Eric and I in Ohio, I found some of these. You guys might remember these. This is some nostalgia for you. You guys remember Fox Kids Network? They made trading cards for the network, which I never have seen before. Some guy had this disgustingly filthy bin full of packs um, that I wish I'd have put gloves on before I went through it because it was absolutely nasty and filthy and these are still kind of covered in dirt and dust but uh fox kids network Fleer honey five x-men spider-man extravaganza batman they made series is on there bobby's world so i'm curious to check these out not sure how cool they're gonna be i didn't they had a lot more of these packs but i was like whatever i will um buy a few check them out see how they are here's a ten dollar super chat from bill sites it says hey john i'm jealous you guys find flea markets by you ours used to be at the racetracks but now they've been taken over by casinos in new york city that is terrible, Bill Sites. Thank you very much for that super chat. 
need to make your way down our way sometime, Bill, or even Ohio. Ohio seems to be the place to be to go to flea markets. All the biggest and best ones, apparently, or a lot of them are in Ohio. So it's a little bit of a travel for us, but uh, not too bad. Thank you very much for that super chat. We're going to do a giveaway now um, due to you guys' generosity. So I really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and see what we got on Kahoot. So load up uh, your phones, your PC, whatever you have on you, and get ready to put the pin in. And let's see what to give away first here. Let me turn my uh, speakers down because they're obnoxiously loud. And the first car we'll give away, let's give away some of the ones I picked up. That's what I plan on doing originally. Um, the first one, let's give away a Jack Clark rookie card. We got, a, we got several of those, so we'll give away Jack Clark. 77 tops. Uh, let's give away that one, and let's give away Willie Willy Randolph. How about that? Does that work for you guys? So two decent 70s rookie cards, Randolph and Jack Clark, um, for the first giveaway. And these ones I structured a little bit differently. The pin number is 189804. So I think the first question is left over from last time, and the rest of them are, bo are mostly uh, questions about the channel. So if you pay close attention to the channel, you watch uh, a lot of the videos, live streams, the questions pertain to the channel overall itself. So if you're a good listener, you have a better chance of winning overall. After this first one, this first one might be kind of tough. It was the very last, was supposed to be the very last question for uh, the last live stream on Friday. We never got to it, so we will do it now. 23 people in here for the Willie Randolph 76 Tops rookie card and Jack Clark 77 Tops rookie card. Whoever can answer this question correctly and the quickest. I'll give you about another 15 seconds to get in here due to the lag. And then we're going to rip open some packs. Um, some decent ones. Got a, a, pretty much a whole box of 89 Bowman to rip open. So pretty stoked about those. We did a break on those a little while back. But um, I love ripping older packs, especially when they're uh, in order to find good rookie cards. 32 people in here. We're going to go ahead and get started. 33. <laughs> a lot of anti mica people in here from what I see in the names. <laughs> Several of them. I'll get started here. 33 people. Well, the first question for the dual rookie giveaway. What was the name of the gorilla in Filmation's Ghostbusters cartoon from 1986? A.K. the fake Ghostbusters, as Eric refers to, uh, to them as, or we both did actually. Was it Jack, Eddie, Marlin, or Tracy? The name of the gorilla in Filmation's Ghostbusters. 1986. And the correct answer is Tracy. And 80 of you guys got that right. A lot of people thought it was Marlin. Marlin was not even a character on the show. <laughs> that was something I made up. And the winner is Brendan. Not sure if that's Brendan S. Go away, Micah. In a close second, Rob Cash was close too. Um... Brendan, you won it. You won the dual rookie lot. Send me an email with what you won, and I'll get those sent out to you tomorrow or the next day. Tracy was the gorilla's name. That show is based on a live action series from the 70s. Like I said, we used to call it the fake Ghostbusters because the real Ghostbusters came on right around the same time. Columbia was competing with Filmations on that one. So good job, you guys. Thanks for playing. And speaking of Filmation's Ghostbusters, I picked this up today at a flea market for a quarter. This is Bratarat. This figure is from 1986 from the pretty rare Filmation Ghostbusters toy line. This is one of the bad guys. Uh, it's like a rat. Uh, what was it? A rat and a bird and, or a rat, a bat, and a pigeon hybrid there. So he was only in a quarter box. It was like a, a box of random action figures. And I'm guessing no one knew what this was from or what it was. It's actually decently valuable. Like I said, he's pretty rare, hard to come by. I don't have any of these Filmation uh, loose for my collection. I had the ones from my, from my childhood somewhere. But uh, pretty stoked on that. His arm somehow got turned upside down, flipped around. So I have to fix that. And I'll put them on display. But uh, pretty sweet find there. I don't really ever see those at all. Joseph Cease's filmation was mad that Columbia never paid them any money they were entitled to. And for, yeah, that's definitely why. No doubt about it. And um, so that was a pretty cool pickup. 
And then also in that quarter box of action figures, Barnyard Commandos. You guys remember these from 1989? Sergeant Wooly, Barnyard Commandos. Had to pick that one up. This one's a little dirty, but I have to clean off the rag. But pretty stoked. Quarter for those. It's like $10, $20 figures. So that will go on display as well. My loose figure mantle pieces. Paul says, I want to see a John Hudak giveaway in the near future. I mean, we could do that. I have somebody sent me, I think it was Dan Schultz sent me a John Hudak minor league card. I think it's probably somewhere around me. Josh Atkins says, those in battle toads. Yeah, no doubt about it. And then also, um, what else did I pick up? I picked up these two guys today. You guys remember Battle Trolls from 92? These were, this was a Hasbro toy line. This is Count Trollula, missing a cape, kind of dirty, but I'll clean him off and not sure if I'll keep him for the mantle or if I'll sell him. And then also a real generic name. This kind of guy, this guy got kind of stiffed by Hasbro. Sergeant Troll in the uh, military attire. But they're in pretty good shape overall. Back during the troll, crazy troll uh, phase or fad. It didn't last too long for a couple of years. But uh, Battle Trolls, those are like the, the guys, the, the, the boys version of Treasure Trolls, which all the chicks had back in the day. So pretty cool. 1992. And then, another pickup from the flea market yesterday, Granny Gross Ghost. A lot of you guys may remember her from the late 80s. Um, real Ghostbusters toy. I actually had her uh, not too long ago. I sold her. I wish I wouldn't have. So, um, she will definitely go on my loose mantle figure wall. Pretty stoked about that. That was originally five bucks. And I got, got it for three. So, the trolls, I think I got both for three bucks. So I got a dollar off those, which is a decent deal. Not too bad at all. And then picked up this yesterday in, in Ohio, too. This is an X-Men um, locker bag from the early 90s, mid-90s, actually, probably 94. But everything's in there, so this is complete. You guys might remember these from your childhoods. I, I was buying these for a while and flipping them. Um, people like these a lot. Missing the tag, but everything else is in there. I paid two bucks for this, which is a good deal. X Men the locker bag. Pretty stoked about that. And then was stoked about this too as well. Seventeen dollar tag on an original vintage Toys R Us um, semi here. Which I've been wanting one of these for a while. These are pretty uh, valuable overall. If you look on eBay, sold listings, things of that nature. Um, these go for a decent amount, especially now Toys R Us closed down. I mean, I know Toys R Us is coming back later in the year supposedly. Um, so they might not be going for as much as they were, but uh, still the original Jeffrey, the vintage uh, logo there. The card is ripped, as you can see. It's torn off here, which was one reason I just didn't buy it. But uh, she gave it to me for ten bucks, so could not pass that down. Toys R Us was an awesome store, even though the prices were insanely high. Um, overall, Children's Palace was a lot better, but still like Toys R Us regardless. I knocked everything over here, and then uh, another pickup from today. 1988 Don Russ, the rookie set. Never come across this one at all. The 88. See all the other ones. But um, this was two bucks. Had to buy it. Mark Grace, first year card on top there. I don't know if I've ever seen that card. Not considered his rookie card because he has a card in 88 Don Russ. But um, our favorite player in here, Chris Sabo, is in that set as rookie card. But the big one in there is Edgar Martinez, rookie card. Roberto Almar, first year cards in there. That was a good bit of decent cards, so we'll probably give us away tonight, honestly. David Wells, Al Lighter, first year. Jay Buhner, uh, first year. So there's some decent cards in there. Couldn't walk away from that for two bucks. That was a pretty good buy. So 88 Don Russ rookies. And then the same flea market. This old senile guy who doesn't know what cards are worth and just prices his packs kind of ridiculous. Uh, he had four packs of 80, or 93 scores sitting out for $0.80 cents a piece. These were like the lowest out of all the packs he had, basically. He had like 86 Topps Rack packs for 4 bucks and like 91 Fleer. Um, and he had a decent variety, but he doesn't know what anything's worth at all, so he just prices them as he sees fit. But he, this slid under his radar, 93 score, had to grab those. We're going to rip these right now, and we're going to see if we can find the Derek Jeter rookie card. $0.80 cents a piece. Check and see. I've I've not opened a pack of these in a very long time. Let me fix this tripod. It's a little easier to see. My brother says that exchange is funny. If I buy a lot, can you make me a deal? No. 
Yeah, I was like, I'll buy a lot of these cars. I'm willing to buy a lot of these packs off you. Will you cut me a deal if I buy a bunch of them? No. <laughs> it's like, all right, man. Well, I'm not buying a bunch of them, and these will be sitting here for the next two months. Hey, Chad Hopkins, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys all for sticking around and hanging out with us tonight. Dale Murphy, looking for a Derek Jeter, 93 score rookie card. I pulled out of a pack a long time ago when I was a kid. Haven't seen it since, or even an insert card. Looks like we have an insert card in this pack. Who is it? Curry Puckett? Two of 90, so pretty big insert set there. Uh, American League leaders, batting average, Curry Puckett. We got four packs of these to go through. No prospect cards in the first one. So I only spent 80 cents a piece for these. So if I don't find anyone good, then not really a big deal. Not too worried about it. I think it'd be fun, though, anyways. Robin Yount reaches 3,000 hits. Not an insert card, a base card. Here's another insert card. And it's Frank Thomas. So a nice Hall of Famer there. On base leaders card. And another Robin Yount. So not too bad of a pack there. We got two more left. Still no prospect cards or rookies. Greg Swindell, can't escape him. Cannot escape him. Dream Team card coming up. And it's Pudge Rodriguez. Not an insert card. I believe those are base cards. And a Sheffield. And a Mike Piazza, second year. That's a nice one. Probably the most valuable card in the set, honestly, or one of them. Mike Piazza, second year. I remember it was Ryan Klesko. used to have some value to it back in the day. Mark Grace. So Piazza, the best one in that pack. And one last one left, and then we were going to rip some more packs. I've got some wax boxes, too, um, that will be going into a break here pretty soon, so we'll check those out as well. Another Frank Thomas. Hoping for a Jeter here. Andy Van Slyke, my brother's old fair player. And no Jeter. There's no even no rookie prospect cards at all in those packs. Kind of sucks. Piazza kind of made it all worth it, though, second year. And a $2 Super Chat from Chad Hawkins says, Sorry I got there late. Hope you had a good weekend. Thank you very much, Chad Hawkins. Really appreciate that. Um, your package should be arriving to you in the next couple days here. I sent it out on Friday. Got a late start on sending it out, but uh, you should get it here pretty soon. And this next pack, 93 Upper Deck Series 2. Buck 50 for this. Figured... What the heck? Might find a Jeter in here. There's uh, the prospect cards in every one of these packs, so maybe we'll find it in this one. Decent deal for a jumbo pack. The guy just based his packs on how many cards were in them instead of like the actual quality of the cards of the set. You know, there's more cards in the pack was automatically more money. And two dollars super chat from Josh Atkins. Thank you very much, Josh Atkins. Really appreciate that. Not sure if you have a channel or not, but uh, please check him out. Give him a sub. Hopefully we can pull a Jeter out of here, and hopefully these aren't stuck together. And they aren't too bad, I guess. I see the prospect cards in there. Yeah, these are actually pretty good. There's a Felix Jose card. 93 per deck were always annoying as far as the cards going every which way. Sticking together. But these ones aren't too bad, so hopefully there's, if there's a Jeter in here, there's no paper loss. I managed to get the last one off. Okay. Nothing too great. I thought there was a John Hudek for a second there. And a Charlie Huff, looking super old once again in his Marlins uniform. Has a Sandberg, and hopefully we can get a Jeter in here since we didn't get one in the score packs. Pete Janicki, Mark Newfield. Stupid two checklist cards. Those can just go in the trash. And Rich Becker, so we didn't get the Jeter out of there either. Not a good day for pulling Jeter cards, I guess. Maybe we'll get more lucky with the 89 Bowman. We'll rip those open and see if we can find the uh, Kangaroo Jr. But first, let's check out uh, these Fox Kids Network disgustingly dirty packs that were in that bin. These were originally, I think he wanted like 50 cents a piece, but I ended up getting like four for a dollar, so it wasn't too bad. This would be a real blast from the past from you guys remember the Tick. These are all like 90s cartoons, not a Tick card. Never liked that show, could never get into it. 
extravaganza. Never really got into extravaganza either. Bobby's World is a big fan of Bobby's World. Tool time. Another tick card. And another tick card. I just didn't like the humor of the tick. Wasn't a big fan of it. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but... It was more of the serious uh, animated cartoons like Batman, they made series, Gargoyles, things of that nature. The tick kind of just uh, kind of annoyed me overall. And these were stuck together, which I cannot believe it. And they're stuck together bad, too. So these cards are basically all tick cards. And they are ruined. Here's a $4 super chat from MT, MT Sports Cards. Thank you very much, MT Sports Cards. Please go check out them. Give them a sub. All you got to do is click on that super chat. Hit go to the channel and subscribe. And I'll do the same once the live stream is over. Look how awful the paper loss is on these. Someone freaking glued them together. And Spider-Man's on the back, so no way we'll salvage um, those cards. We have one more pack of those. Reindeer Studios, this is a monthly card show in the big building at the flea market you guys went to yesterday. Yeah, we were actually talking about that. We heard there was one in July. Uh, another Spider-Man card here. Storm from the X-Men. Bobby's World again. And more Tick cards, which seem to be very popular. Um, and a Tick. So, those being through. Let's check out some of these Batman They Made Series. Series 2. These were made by Topps in 93. These are actually decently expensive to buy a box of these. I don't remember ever buying these when I was a kid. We'll rip open some of these packs. There's a lot of fans of Batman the Animated Series. Um, one of my favorite shows of all time. MT Sports Cards says, love your channel. I'm a big on 80s and 90s stuff. Well, thank you so much, man. really appreciate that. These cards are pretty nice. I'm sticking together. Either. So these are some Mask of the Phantasm cards here. You guys remember that movie. Mask of the Phantasm from 93. They just re-released that in the theaters for one day only last year. Um, in October, I believe, for the 25th anniversary of Mass of the Phantasm. Saw that in a the theater whenever it came out. I was a big fan of it. Really awesome movie. Another one from Mass of the Phantasm. Uh, Catwoman here. Really awesome show. The show still holds up today if you guys go back and watch Batman the Animated Series. You can get the whole series now for like 25 bucks. And there's over 100 episodes. Selena Kyle there. Two-Face. Used to love Harvey Two-Face. And the episode's on there. Maybe you open one more pack or two of these. Batman the Animated Series. Such an awesome show. And a $5 Super Chat from Incredible CJ Collectibles. It says, Batman the Animated Series is the best cartoon, period. Laugh out loud. Thanks again for stopping by my live stream last night, John. Thank you so much, Incredible CJ Collectibles. Really appreciate that. Um, please go check his channel out. He does a lot of baseball car videos, uh, box breaks, pack ripping, everything else. Uh, last time I looked, he was around uh, close to 600 subs. So if he's not there yet, let's get him over 600 tonight. Great channel. I, I think he did four boxes of Topps Big League last night from 2019. So go check him out. Really appreciate that super chat, CJ. I try to pop into people's live streams when I can here and there when I see him live. And we're getting some paper loss now on these. But we'll go through like maybe one more pack of these and we'll... Call it on those and go through some 89 Bowman. Mr. Freeze, of course. We had a trivia question about him recently. And Clayface. Love Clayface. It's an awesome episode. He's such an awesome villain. Really wish that they would uh, put him as a villain in a movie. They, they could CGI it or even make a suit and make it really sick. And there's a $10 super chat from Jonathan H. that says, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, John H. Really appreciate that. John H. also has a channel. Um, click on his name on the Super Chat and go to his channel. Give him a sub. A lot of baseball car videos. He just uh, did a few on 2019's Top Stadium Club, and his polls were absolutely insane. You're going to want to check those out. A lot of really good stuff that he ripped out of those packs. Um, not going to want to miss it. Thanks again, John H. Really appreciate that. And we're going to do a giveaway here in a second. Another Victor Freeze card there. And Selena Kyle. So these are pretty cool. Here's the backs of them. Not sure how many cards in the set. Like I said, I never even saw these really until the other day. There's a real cool one of Batman um, kicking Clayface and actually getting sucked into his chest there. And he ends up shooting the grapple hook out of his back. Remember that episode? But let's do another giveaway. Courtesy of you guys for your generosity. And this one, you had to pay close attention to my live stream on Friday. I did mention this. Let's see if you guys can get it. 
And another Kahoot. So get ready, you guys. Baseball Car Club says, did you already send out the Kahoot wins from not this week, but last week with the kids Kahoot? I hope not. Laugh a lot because I want a Kahoot thing and requested a bunch. Hope one is still available. Um, I, I, there's a couple I need to send out from Friday. That's really it. I sent everything else out already. I try to send those out right away so I don't get too backed up. But 630-874 is um, the Kahoot pin. And the giveaway for this one, let's give away two things here. Let's give away let's see what we got here. I have four of this card, so we'll go ahead and give this away too. Appreciate the super chats, you guys. Let me give away that 88 Don Russ set you guys saw earlier with uh, Mark Grace first, uh, well, actually, first year card, Edgar Martinez, rookie cards in here, Roberto Alomar, David Wells, Jay Buhner, Al Leiter. We give away that. Mike Mussina, first year gold leaf rookie cards, or rookie card, I should say. And then also Jack Clark, 77 tops rookie. Got four of it, so we'll throw that in the mix too. So a full set and. Two first year and rookie cards there for the winner of this one. 43 people in here. 630-874. And um, the rules, as always, you got to email me within 24 hours saying what card you won and your address. Otherwise, uh, you will be disqualified. It's just too hard. Sometimes I don't write down the people's names. It doesn't happen very often. And then people send me an email saying... I won, here's my address, and it's like, what did you win? I have to go back through the whole video and try to figure out who won what, and it just like sucks. So please let me know what card you won and your address so I can go back and double check and send them out to you. It's easier that way. Here's a $2 super chat from Austin Farmer. It says, keep up the good work, John. Thank you very much, Austin Farmer. I really appreciate that. We have almost 50, 50 people in here, so let's go ahead and get started. Good luck to all you for the rookie lot, basically. And this complete set. In the last video I mentioned, 1992 Bowman rookie card that I want for my PC. Which one is it? Is it Mike Piazza? Is it Trevor Hoffman? Mariano Rivera? Or is it Cliff Floyd? I mentioned this on Friday, for Fan Mail Friday, that um, there was a card I didn't have that I wanted to get. And it is one of those four. Who is it? Probably the one you least, least would expect. And 10 of you guys got it right. It was Cliff Floyd. He's actually dunking a basketball in that card. Never uh, never came across it in person. Never owned it. Who got it right the quickest? Trent Warren. Trent Warren is uh, pretty good at these trivia giveaways. He wins a lot. Trent Warren came in first. Uh, PubX Vic in second. Marcos Zavala in third. And Chet Lemon in fourth. So congrats to Trent Warren. Send me an email with what you won the Jack Clark, rookie, Mike Mussina, and 88 Donruss, rookie set, and your address. Because I don't save everyone's addresses when they email me. You guys, if you win a giveaway and you email me, after I send it out, I usually delete it because I have so many freaking emails and it just gets to be a cluster. Congrats, you guys. On the win. And let's open one more pack of Batman cards and we'll start ripping 89 Bowman. I know Eric's going live in like less than an hour. Or, well, not live, but he's premiering a video in less than an hour. So we'll start ripping the 89 Bowman after this pack. So, some pretty cool cards. Kind of stoked about these. Might need to buy a box of these just to rip open for myself at some point. Yeah, like I said, these are made by Tops. Another Clayface card. Clayface is always awesome. I need to get the, the Clayface on the card from Batman the Animated Series. I have a few of the figures. There's another one of Mr. Freeze. I actually have a Mr. Freeze sitting right next to me, which I picked up not too long ago for six bucks, which is a really good deal. Um, it usually sells for like 20, 20 to 30, but I used to love the Batman the Animated Series figure line from Kenner. I have him and I have the Combat Belt Batman, but I don't have the rest. So I'd like to get Clayface, Killer Croc, a couple other ones. They're actually not too expensive either. Clay face you can probably get for like 20 bucks. So I need to get those at some point. But enough of the Batman they made series cards. Got a lot of packs of those. So uh, not sure when I'll rip those of them, but sometime in the future. 
and let's start looking at everything else. So I picked up three, actually I picked up like five boxes this weekend, but two of them I don't have on camera. Nothing too crazy, a 92 Fleer and uh, something else. But this is a good one I picked up, 99 Pacific. This will probably be part of a break at some point here, because these Pacific boxes actually sell for a lot of money on eBay. Um, some good inserts that can be pulled out of this uh, this box. So that'll pro probably be part of a break sometime soon. And then another real good one here. This was picked up um, this morning, actually. 2005 Series 2 Upper Deck. Um, very good chance we could pull Justin Verlander out of these boxes or out of this box. And there's also relics in there and inserts as well. And another super chat from Jonathan Nature. Five boxes is Batman animated series and X-Men animated series were life-changing. Thank you so much, Jonathan Nature. They definitely were. You used to love both of those. More so Batman animated series. Um, just in general, I was always more of a Batman fan than anything else overall. But uh, X-Men animated series was also awesome, too. The Saturday morning lineup was amazing at one point. I remember watching Batman animated series every day after school, like I think 4 or 4.30. I can't remember exactly what time it was. Power Rangers was on, was on as well, and Gargoyles at one point, and then Saturday mornings. But 2005 deck, looking for Justin Verlander, rookie card, um, and some relics and autos. That'll be part of a break at some point. And then the last one here, ones I've never seen before, 1999 Aurora. These are also by Pacific. Never seen them, never even heard of them till today. But uh, there's 36 packs and really cool design there. Tony Gwynn, you see that. I'm guessing all the cards look like that. It's a retail box. A lot of inserts um, in here as well. Usually boxes of these sell for like 60 bucks on eBay, I want to say. So uh, not a bad buy, and this will be in a break too. So... The 10 or 20 box mixer break coming up here in July should be pretty epic. Looking forward to that. And let's get to ripping these 89 Bowman, you guys. Put Granny Gross Ghost off to the side here. Stay puffed. Mother Puss Bucket in the background. And start ripping. So this box was kind of just like a toss-in. This guy in Ohio had it, and it's not uh, complete. Missing a few packs, but it's like, take five bucks for that. And he did. So, figure five bucks to chase after the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, or Tina Martinez, or Smoltz. Good time, for sure. Love looking for that Griffey, and I think I only have one of it, so I could definitely... Uh, like to add a new one to the PC. Joe Manson says, Hey, John, the card you sent came. Thank you. Well, I'm glad they arrived safely. Thank you for um, your fan mail. Appreciate it. Hopefully you liked everything. And I don't really trust the gum in these packs, so I'm not going to eat it because the gum in here looks albino. Not going to risk touching that, put it in my mouth. Dallas says, Hope we get a Griffey. I hope so too, man. I love that card. We did two boxes of these. And we found one Griffey. There's a nice Conseco. ton of Conseco fans out there. Raphael Palmiro. And no Griffey in the first pack. Pull these up to the side here. This gum in here is absolutely filthy. I'm all about eating old gum, but uh, not in this case. It looks like I'm going to get E. coli from it. Then I'm not going to eat it. It's a two-dollar super chat from Jonathan H. Says, "Put on a mask. That that was like white mold gum. I think it is, man. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that super chat. And uh, I guess that is white mold, pure, one hundred percent white mold. And now it's all over me. Absolutely filthy. Some of the risks you take ripping junk wax. There's a Steve Finley rookie card. It's a nice one. Mike Schmidt." Some of us go through great lengths to rip open junk wax. And I love every second of it. Yeah, this is this is definitely white mold albino gum. Something I've never encountered in all my years of junk wax ripping. It's a new phenomenon. It is getting everywhere. A Ted Williams reprint card there. So the white anthrax gum. Casey Lewis said, could never keep those cards in good condition. You and me both, man. Mine were all banged up. I always hated how, like, one-fourth of the cards stuck out of penny sleeves and 
um, in general. And like putting these in a collector's case, that was the downfall of all my 89 Bowman. Used to have one of those, this is Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Um, the downfall of the big white uh, baseball collector case, you put these in there, it would bend in half so bad. It was awful. But definitely fell victim to those early collector cases that just destroyed a lot of our cards. <laughs> Chris Bolton says, you guys find some interesting things to flee. <laughs> wax boxy, wax, wax box Ebola. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do. There's a Van Slight card. Couldn't tell if these packs were searched or not. They didn't really look like it. They just look really dirty. I found a lot of dirty things yesterday. I start taking gloves with me to flea market because some of these bins that I stick my hands in to go through packs and stuff probably get hepatitis or something. I don't know. There's a pocket. So, a couple of good cards and Hall of Famers in here. <laughs> John Ace is no one search shows on white mold. <laughs> I have to stick my hands in like hydrochloric acid. Hey, there's Eric Plunk. Always looking hideous. Hideous Eric Plunk and Zane Smith both. This white mold is just caking off of my fingers. Gum looks like chalk. Yeah, it definitely does. And it's coming off like chalk, too. Some paper loss on that one. Fernando Valenzuela and Alomar card there. The brothers and dad kind of stuck together. There's a Hall of Famer, Burt Blylevin. Chet Lemons is hepatitis is a small price to pay for 89 Bowman. <laughs> we find the Griffey, then I agree with you. If we don't, you know, if you guys never hear from me again, I don't know if it was really so much worth it. Not for a Steve Finley rookie card. That's all we found in here so far. John H. says, I almost bought 10 to 15 Plunk Don Ross rookie series cards at LCS to ship to you and Jab's family. <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier. If it was the 86 Fleer Eric Plunk rookie, I would gladly take him because then you're getting a Canseco rookie. It's really unfortunate for Jose Canseco. He got stuck on his rookie card with Eric Plunk. There's a Clemens. It's a nice one. This card has definitely experienced some crazy environment changes over the years or sat in a basement because they're somewhat warped. There's a Cal Ripken. So some decent cards still in here that probably would have been pulled if they were surged like Andy Bennis. That probably would have been pulled out of there in 89 if they were surged. We'll finish ripping through these, and then we will go check out Eric's premiere video. Tom Glavin, second year in the back there. Reindeer Studios says, I like Eric Plunk. I consider Eric Plunk stuck on a rookie card with Jose Canseco. <laughs> Still no Griffey yet. There's a Glavin, second year. Eric Davis, and Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. Eric Davis was a big craze in the late nine or late eighties. More moldy gum. Can't get away from that. Yogi Bear reprint card there. Hope we can even find the other rookies like Robin Ventura rookies in here. Jim Abbott. I said um, Smoltz is in here. I think we pulled all of them. Tina Martinez is probably the second best card of the set. Ugh. Richie Ashburn. And there is no escaping him. It is not possible to open several Junk Wax Era packs and not find a Chris Sabo card. It is not possible. I don't believe it. Chris Weaver says Sabo time. It is always Sabo time around here. That's between him and John Hudak and even John Wathen sometimes. Cannot escape him. Nice Mark McGuire coming up in here. Laden with white mold. Nice Mark McGuire. He's actually on the cover of the box. Nice Greg Max too. Early Greg Max card on the Cubs. And it looks like we have a dozen packs left here. So, still a decent chance of pulling that Griffey card. Hopefully, he's not riddled with white mold. And is he... That, there he is. There he is. Very nice. We pulled the Griffey. Really nice. Love this card. 
And there's no gum stain, no wax stain, nothing else. Only problem with it is it's a little bit warped, as you can see there, but uh, nothing that the uh, top loader can't straighten out. No creases, nothing else. Centering's not too bad. Very nice card. Pull the Griffey. The guy that I bought those off of actually said, let me know if you pull anything good out of there. Um, he set up at Rogers on Friday. I saw him out there, and then he was at the place on Saturday, so probably see him again sometime soon. There's a $5 Super Chat from Baltimore Box Breakers. It says, just finished my weekly wrap-up video and posted around 8 p.m., so figure I'd drop in and show you some support and check out your weekend haul, John. Thanks so much, Baltimore Box Breakers. Really appreciate that. If you're not subbed to them already, please go check them out. Click on that Super Chat. Go to channel, give him uh, a sub, and check out uh, his newest video, and I'll definitely do the same once I'm done here. Really appreciate that Super Chat. Be doing another giveaway here very soon. Very soon. We got one coming up after this pack, actually. Dave Winfield on top. Hoping we can pull on our Griffey. That was a nice surprise. Didn't think we were going to there for a minute. Yeah, all these cards got uh, pretty warped. Not real bad, but bad enough. At least there's no real paper loss. The nice thing about the cards from the 80s is you don't have to worry about the UV coating. And cards sticking together and being ruined. There's a nice Dale Murphy. <laughs> Joseph ceases Kahoot to plung and Sabo. I don't know if anyone will be stoked about that. Will people be stoked about that? I really don't know. Let's see what else we got here. Let me dig into my sack of cards. Um, let's give away some rookies. A rookie lot here. Dolberry Larkins. So 87 Don Ross, which is his best rookie card, 87 tops. And how about another Jack Clark? Throw another one of those in there. And let's throw in Denny Martinez on top of that. Appreciate all these super chats, you guys. Let's throw in Denny Martinez. So we got four rookies here. Hey, Edward Salinas, welcome to the stream, man. And hey, Brittany, didn't see you pop in here. So this is the next uh, giveaway here. Dennis Martinez, 77 tops. Jack Clark again, 77 tops. Barry Larkin, 87 tops. And Barry Larkin, 87 Don Russ. And for good measure, good measure, um, some of you guys might have those cards already. Let's throw in um, the Glavin rookie, too. It's a nice rookie haul lot here. Tom Glavin, 88 tops. These are all... You win all five of these cards if you get the question right. <laughs> Sean H says, Brittany hate I'm going to start holding Super Chats hostage until you do your next video. Let's get the uh, Kahoot ready and get your PCs ready for the next one. This one's easy. This one is super easy. You guys should all get this right. This white mold gum is really getting to me. It's messing with my mind. 636450 for the Hall of Fame rookie lot. Glavin 88 tops, Larkin 87 tops, 87 Don Ross, and 277 tops rookies. Dennis Martinez and Jack Clark. 636450. And these are yours if you win in the quickest amount of time. Let me throw this freaking white gum away. Freaking nasty. Fingers are like all sticky from that. That card guy says, John, have you ever seen 2011 lineage? I never have, honestly. I, I wasn't collecting in 2011. So my collection pretty much runs up until the year 2000. If that, most of it stops in uh, 97. Chris Bolton says, not mold as LSD. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm not going to take that chance of trying that out, man. That is too gnarly for me. 38 people in here for the rookie lot. Let me throw this freaking Griffey in a penny sleeve. No, it won't really matter. It'll still stick out the top. Here's a $5 Super Chat from Jonathan H. Again, it says, it's a Kahoot screen changing colors or that, mold, or is that the mold messing with us? <laughs> Oh, jeez. I don't know at this point. I really don't know. I really appreciate that super chat, though, man. Thank you very much. 
do yourself a favor and sub to him. Any of you guys that are not subbed to him, you're blowing it big time. Great channel. I'm sending you a package out tomorrow, John, for Fan Mail Friday. Hopefully you like the stuff that's in it. Picked up some stuff, especially for you, over the weekend. All right, let's go get started. 41 people in here. 42 for the five rookie lot. In Fan Mail Friday's video, what flea market did I mention going to earlier that day? This is super easy. I think I just mentioned it in this video. Was it ladies, Hartville, Rogers, or Four Seasons? On Friday, I went out with myself. Where did I go? Seven seconds left. Austin Farmer says John H is a legend. He definitely is. The correct answer was Rogers. 13. A lot of people said Hartfield. That was uh that was yesterday. Or not yeah, that was yesterday. Who got it right the quickest? Ben Micah. Ben Micah, you got it right with a thousand points on that one. Jeff Drew in close second and JMO Jack Hammer in third. Ben Micah, not sure who you are, but uh send me an email for the rookie lot with your shipping address and the cards that you won and your real name. <laughs> and I will send those out to you. Chet got fifth place. That was close, Chet. I think you were pretty close to it on the last one. Seven email, Ben Micah. I don't think Micah's even in here right now, but... Let's get back to ribbons and packs. Adam Y got four of them actually sending your uh your winner your winnings out tomorrow. Anyone that won on Friday, your stuff's going out tomorrow. We got a few more packs left here to rip before we go to Eric's premiere video. Our pocket might be a repeat pack from earlier. We'll go through this pretty quick. Pocket. Uh hoping we can pull our Griffey out of here. Alice Burke's second year. John Miller says, give that postman that sneaks up on you the mold gum and tell him it's sugar. <laughs> hey, pack fresh rookies. That blasted mailman. Wonder when we'll see him again. Might be introducing some new characters into this realm sometime soon. Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer there. Jeff Drew says, thank you, John. I got your package. No corrected Charlie, though. I apologize for that. I, I think I forgot to put that in there. I meant to and completely forgot. Ozzy Smith. So, um, next time I send something out to you, I'll send you the Charlie card. No biggie. My apologies, though. Sent out like 50 packages last week, and that just slipped my mind to send the, the Charlie rookie card with it. <laughs> Adam Watts says, thanks, John. The guy didn't put what I won. Luckily, I had what you won and wrote down, so... Not a big deal, Adam. Why? But gotta figure if everyone does that, especially like when we do the, like the long breaks. Like I want to say like the eight hour break I did, where we're doing super check giveaways the whole time. I got a bunch of people emailing me saying like, "Hey, I won. Thanks." It's like, what did you win? Because I forgot to write names down, which is ultimately my fault. But then I had to go back through the whole freaking eight hour video. Trent Warren was one of them. He went back through the whole thing and wrote down what he won. He won like four cards. So that saved me some time. But now I'm pretty good about it. I write down everyone's names. Bob Walk. John Went says, hello, John. I hope the storms didn't get you yesterday. Well, thanks for uh, popping in, John Went. Storms were not too bad here. Jose Uribe. And Donnie Baseball. It's a nice one. Roberto Almar, second year. A nice one. Jerome Walton was a big name back then. Big name. And it's Robin Ventura rookie card with white mold on it. Very nice. I don't think I had this card either. Maybe I did. Big gum, big gum uh, crease there, which is nice. And some white Ebola anthrax mold, whatever that is. Maybe we'll make that uh, the next giveaway. All the gum. <laughs> Greg Jeffries, rookie card. Carlton Fisk. Adam Wise says, I need the, the Charlie Corrected Error card. Can you send that along? I forgot that in my email. Um, I might be able to do that. I think I sealed your envelope up already, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to double check. 
If I didn't, if I don't send this time, I can send it next time. I'm sure you'll win again, or I'm sure I'll send you something here in the future. Still have quite a few, uh, and there's another venture with a freaking gum stain on it again. What is going on here? Another venture in the same exact spot. Something that sucks about these uh, 89 Bowman. At least it's not freaking uh, Kangaroo Jr. Austin says, don't sniff the Ventura. Mark Grace, second year card. A lot of Mark Grace fans still out there. Joseph sees a zip lock that gum and sent it to me. Lee Smith, Zane Smith, looking hideous as ever. Dennis Eckersley, it's all a famer there. This, uh, this white moldy gum is... Leech itself onto me here. We got, uh, looks like we got five packs left to count this one. So we'll go ahead and check these out and then we'll get out of here. Not eating this gum this time around, you guys. If, uh, I think if I would do that, my channel name would have to change to The Pass is Dead because I don't think I would be around any longer to make videos and hang out with you guys if I was eating the moldy gum. Trust me, I, I thought about trying it, but uh, that's a little bit risky. Never seen gum that shade of white before. Still looking for another Griffey. Glad in second year. Chenman Mantle says one more coot, please. Um, we are doing every every single twenty dollars, so um, five more bucks. We'll do our Kahoot. I'll check out what rookies we have left to give away. I think Edgar Martinez 88 flares me one of them because no one claimed that car before. Pat, this pack or this gum towards the end here is actually looking kind of pink, but I'm still gonna try it because I don't trust it. <laughs> Hype is here, collectibles. The pass is seriously crippled. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have a name change there. I'm freaking in the hospice from eating white gum. Brittany says I miss super chats. I did not even see those. Which ones did I miss? Let me go back here real quick. I missed $2 Super Chat from Jonathan H. My fault, Jonathan H. And also Ben Blevins. Jonathan H. said, Venture trying to use the mold to poison Nolan from the epic mound charge that I'm sure we all are familiar with when Venture got the crap beat out of him by Nolan Ryan, put in a headlock and just embarrassed charging the mound. And two dollar super chat. Ben Blevins says, "Thanks for taking me back to my childhood. Thanks a lot, Ben Blevins. Really appreciate that. Glad we can take you back. That is the entire purpose of my channel is to take you all back and reminisce on better and simpler times. At least in my opinion. And we do that by ripping junk wax, hanging out and talking about toys and baseball cards. John Cruck." We got one more pack left. We found the Griffey, so that's pretty sweet. Stoked about that. Baltimore Box Breaker says, open a box of 89 Bowman and was tempted to try the gum, but then, then I smelled it. <laughs> was awful, but was strange smell, so thought best not to sample. You're probably better off, man. Uh, I think I tried the gum out of the last 89 boxes that I opened, and it was not good. I'm telling you, the best gum to try or to eat is 92 Tops Kids. Hands down, there's a Tom Gordon rookie card. Um, error card. As you can see, Don Gordon, his evil twin brother, signed that card. Old Don Gordon for Tom Gordon's rookie card. And I missed another one from Jonathan H. Jeez, you are brutal, Brittany. Call me out on this. Uh, I saw a 2 R1 for Ventura trying to poison Nolan Ryan, and I missed another one. I did miss another one. Another 2 R Super Chat from Jonathan H. Here's a $2 for the Nolan Christmas ornament. Damn it, Eric. <laughs> I was, like, real stoked that I found that to send to you, and you must have saw it. You had to have seen it in Eric's video. I was like, I'm going to surprise him with that. And there is no surprise. So, you are welcome, Jonathan H. I don't need the $2 for that. I appreciate it, but I don't need it. I bought that for a fan mail Friday pack. <laughs> Jonathan H says, I started cracking up while watching in bed. That sucks. I wish Eric wouldn't have put that in there. I thought he was going to edit it out. 
to be very, very careful about what I buy now in front of him if I'm buying stuff for subscribers. Vesher says, Don Gordon rules. Yes, he does indeed. I love me some Don Gordon. <laughs> JMO Jackhammer, we wasted a good surprise on you. Yeah, that sucks, man. I read that and my jaw dropped. Like, ah, uh, how do you know about that? Uh, you know about it because of this. Saw it in Eric's video. Should have known better. Well, I hope you like the Christmas ornament, man. I thought that was pretty cool. Figured you'd be stoked about it. And I sent you some other stuff, but the surprise is ruined. Forever ruined. Can't get away with anything. And a $5 super chat from Jonathan H. And now it says, woke my wife up. She said, what is so funny? I sent $10. like get that Nolan ornament. <laughs> oh, thanks again, man. I really appreciate that. Let's see what else I have to give away. Stick around for one minute. I really appreciate that super chat. Please go sub them if you're not subbed already. Um, let's give away, you know what? It's right in front of me. Let's give away the Griffey card. And we pull out a pack. It's in a top loader now, and there's no wax stain, no gum stain. Let's give that away instead of me going to die for something and make you guys wait. We'll give away the Griffey Rookie. It's in pristine shape here, so come into whoever is going to get this right. Courtesy of all your guys' super chats, John H is very generous as always, of course. And the surprise is ruined for the Nolan Ryan Christmas ornament. Hopefully you like it, man. Sorry that the surprise is ruined. <laughs> All right, let's see here. It is so freaking hot in my toy room right now slash office. I am getting delirious okay this one's super easy if you guys watch my video on tuesday then you all get this right super quick all right next one up kahoot last giveaway of the night we reached 80 bucks i appreciate all your generosity you guys were awesome um 898-498 is this one and it's for ken Griffey junior rookie card chris bolens is gonna get that 89 bowman can sick if i eat all that white mold gum yeah that'd be a good one man Anyone wants all the white mold gum, shoot me an email and I'll send it to you. You can do a video on it. And there's going to have to be some sort of disclaimer in the package I send to you that I'm not responsible for your death or fatigue or illness or whatever might become of you if you eat the freaking gum. Vesher says, thanks for the awesome content, John. You and Eric are the best. Well, thank you very much for hanging out with us, man. I really appreciate your kind words. I'm glad you like my channel and enjoy sitting around and ripping old packs and looking at toys because i love it chris bowling got good insurance so he's good i still have a whole bunch of consecos man i have tons of consecos um hopefully got the cards that i sent out to you um the tangle express cards like father like son says make him sign an nda <laughs> 34 people in here for ken Griffey jr giveaway 89 bowman 35 people. I'll let the rest of you slide in here real quick. And then we're getting out of here and we're heading to Eric's stream. I don't even know what time it is. 9.38. So we got some time. You got some time to eat something or drink a beer. Whatever your uh, your thing is before Eric's stream starts. And another super chat from Jonathan H for five bucks. It says, pro tip, Home Depot bucket cut two holes in the side and a hole on top line with styrofoam, filled with ice, put a fan face down on the top hole, YouTube hits. <laughs> that is a great pro tip. Please make sure you follow that pro tip and YouTube it. Most importantly, YouTube that. Thanks a lot, Jonathan H. Really appreciate that, man. And I apologize once again for your spoiled fan mail package that's coming your way tomorrow. Absolutely spoiled. Jonathan H is cheapest AC ever. <laughs> I might have to try that, man. I really might. Like I said, I bought an air conditioner and put it upstairs in my finished attic, and I don't even use it. So, I spent 50 bucks on an air conditioner, and uh, maybe one day I'll use it. Like I said, my empty boxes are staying cool upstairs, at least. So, that's all that matters to me. Brittany says we need to craft that tonight. Jonathan H says I have a small Christmas tree that will now be up year-round. Sweet. Yeah, tomorrow's the first day back to work for me after my mini vacation, so it really sucks. I'm really pissed about it, but uh, fortunately, I have uh, the week of the National off. So Eric and I are heading to the National, 
and we're going to a huge flea market in Indiana. I think the day before it starts. Um, so I have that whole week off work at the end of July. So looking forward to that. 43 people in here for the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card. Let's see who is the lucky one. This question is super easy. You guys should all get this right. What box did we end up breaking on Tuesday instead of Pinnacle Express? Was it 96 Tops, 93 Flare, 91 Bowman, or 97 Upper Deck? Very easy question. Very easy. Seven seconds left for the Kegraphy Jr. Rookie card. This is a good card. This is the whole reason I bought the box. I love this card. I have one already, so. Correct answer is, of course, 93 Flare. Who got it right the quickest? F.U. Micah. <laughs> a lot of Micah haters in here. F.U. Micah, Jed Ward, and Bill Sites in third. 986, and Jed Ward was very close. So, F you, Mike, uh, takes the Griffey Jr. rookie card. Send me an email with your real name, real address, and uh, your name on the contest. And the Griffey Jr. goes out to you tomorrow or the next day. Thank you guys for participating. You guys rule. Thank you for Super Chats. And thank you for hanging out with us. Super System cold people in here. And yeah, definitely a lot of... Mike of Hatred, so slow. Um, but thanks for hanging out, guys. As I'm knocking more cards over, good thing they're all coated with uh, white mold. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favorite uh, thing that I picked up this weekend was. And uh, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Return back to Clock Tuesday. If you are a Patreon patron, that break will be posted tonight on Patreon within the next hour or so. Stay awake for a little bit. Stay up late. And... Uh, Take part in that if you, if you so choose uh, to do so. If not, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks again. Have a good weekend. Enjoy what's left of it.